vlog. Watching my first vlog. First vlog. And I just burned out. Also, and much. Oh. I made a video last night. You want to see it? What was your first word when you were a baby? My first word? Yeah. Where's Jaya? <laughs> Slept in a little bit today. I don't wake up at 4.30 or 5 every single morning. It really depends upon what time I go to sleep. And last night I was at the office until midnight, 12.30. I didn't get to sleep until very late. And I really do need seven or eight hours. So when I'm up late, I tend to sleep in. And yes, I am sleeping in a tent on the roof. There's a whole story behind that. Essentially, Julie, my wife, she likes the bedroom a lot warmer than I do. I really need my sleep environment to be quite cold, like 62, 64 degrees, and she just freezes like that. And so when the bedroom is too warm, I just have a lot of difficulty sleeping. So I started this experiment uh, maybe eight or 10 weeks ago where I got a tent, put it up on the roof, uh, and immediately my sleep improved like tenfold. There's just something about the cold evening air and being under uh, you know, a bunch of blankets that just knocks me out completely. And I wake up feeling so much better, so much more rested. So that's why I'm sleeping on a tent and happy to talk about that more at length later. All right, today's gonna be super busy, which means one thing. Day two of the vlog, I guess this is happening. My biggest concerns are one, sustainability, uh, trying to find a way to make this work on a daily basis. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Uh, and the second thing is trying to figure out how to make it engaging. My biggest fear is that it's gonna be completely boring because the truth is, I kind of do the same thing every day. I train in the morning, I work in the afternoon, I'm with my kids and my family. Not that much exciting stuff happens. Most of my day is staring at a computer screen and so how do I make that interesting or compelling in a vlog format? So I don't know the answer to any of these questions, but I suppose that is the creative challenge and that's what's interesting and compelling to me, tackling that challenge. All right, I'm going to the pool. See all this? This is what I love about this pool. Most of the time, it's old lady classes and a bunch of senior citizens enjoying the day. And it's not that crowded, so I don't have to fight for a lane, and it's a beautiful morning. I always feel so much better after swimming. Now I gotta go into town. I got 45 minutes to get to Venice. I think I'm gonna be late. I'm taking Old Topanga, which is kind of a shortcut and really scenic.
Made it to Venice. Only a little bit late. Hello, hi. You know, I can tell people I hope you like dogs. Oh yeah, of course. We have a bunch of dogs. Hello, who's this guy? Oh, he's such a great dog, Aiden. Hey, I'm Rich. How are you? Hi, Thank nice you for to meet coming. You. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Cool. But we're videoing the whole thing, right? So it's video. It's not just all, okay. So got it. Scope, yeah. yeah cool. And then we're recording the whole thing. And then when it's all over, mm -hmm. I'll maybe record a video of just us for like thirty seconds. Yeah, so sure. Like a teaser to the podcast. Yeah, gotcha. Which is in addition to Periscope. And it's called Dinner Party. Yes, right. The Dinner Party with Elizabeth Alfano. Gotcha. On Twitter Dinner Party C H G O and okay. the Dinner Party TV. Here so we're go. live on Periscope and you're yes. feeding me. I am Elizabeth. feeding you. I know. I've been cooking all morning, I have to say. So hopefully you like <laughs> this. this. No, I have a, hi everybody. I have a live television show in Chicago. What I do is I invite three celebs who don't know each other and a prominent chef who cooks for them and everyone in the audience. And that was so popular in Chicago that I decided to come out here to LA, see how things would go out here and bring the podcast version of that show. So the show was so popular in Chicago that WGN Radio asked me to do a podcast of it and that's what I'm doing here in LA. Here. I love it. So we're podcasting, we're periscoping, yes. and we're vlogging all at the same oh, time. Oh, and we're eating. And we're eating. Yeah, that's yes, what we're course. really doing. All right. Okay, so this... I'm gonna put this down so I can focus on the food, but this looks beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you. you. The podcast is over. No. Did I do okay? You're fab. Yeah, right. you're telling it like it is. And eating. So I love people who come to my house and actually eat in the I don't podcast, usually get fed a podcast, yes, so well. this was great because yeah. I didn't have time to go eat on my way here, and this was perfect. So Three salads so and dessert. All right, podcast with Elizabeth was over. That's the first time I've been fed when I was a guest on a podcast, which is great. I feel good. And I was going to head back up the coast home, but since I'm already down here and it's so beautiful out, I think I might go for a run. I wasn't planning on running today, but can't resist. Unbelievably windy out. I already have sand in my eyes. All right, switching to GoPro. Oh my God, that is the windiest I've ever seen it here. I had to abandon the GoPro. It just became like too much. It was crazy. Just like a half an hour, easy jog, shake out the legs. That was it, no big deal, but nice to get active. Come out and check out this wind though. It's unbelievable. I doubt you can tell from the video, but trust me, it's like typhoon wind. I got a ton of work I gotta do, but before I go back to the office, there's one last thing that I just can't resist doing. I gotta jump in. like a new person. Totally rejuvenating. All right, now I'm ready to go to work. Still in the office. The struggle is real. And vlog two is over. <laughs>